Hello, in this video we're going to do a consumer choice review type question. We want to solve for what fraction of income is spent on good one. A consumer's utility is given by the following. Utility, which is a function of good one and good two, equals good one times good two squared. We'll first solve for the marginal utility of good one, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good one we get back the following result. And the marginal utility of good two. Take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good two. Bring that exponent down on good two, down in front, and subtract one from that exponent. You're left with this result. We're going to set up the marginal rate of substitution, which is the marginal utility of good one, divided by the marginal utility of good two and then simplifying a little bit here we got good two squared divided by good two so it just leaves us with good two in the numerator and now we're going to set the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the prices the price of good one divided by the price of good two and we're going to solve for good two multiplying both sides through by two times good one This consumer's budget constraint is given as follows. M is just money income, so the price of good one times units of good one, plus the price of good two times units of good two. And we're going to make a substitution into the budget constraint where we have good two. We're going to place that with two times good one over the ratio of the prices, so making that substitution. And you'll notice that the price of good twos will cancel here. So canceling the price of good twos over here. And then adding up the right hand side. And let's solve for good one. That'll be the demand for good one. So here's the demand for good one. Just dividing everything through by three times the price of good one. And finally, what fraction of income is spent on good one? We're going to solve this equation right here for the price of good one times units of good one. So multiplying everything through by the price of good one, you're left with the following. So this total spending on good one equals your money income divided by three, or one third of your money income. So the answer we're looking for is that consumer, this consumer spends one third of her income on good one, which implies that the consumer spends two thirds of her income on good two. All right, that's it.